afternoon. I'm Elaine Provenzano, the Children's Librarian on the behalf of the Tuckahoe Library. We're so excited to have Mary Ann Dino back for another cooking program. And I want to introduce her and her mom, Luz. And Hi, everybody. Sister <laughs> Anna. And your nephews, guys, give a wave. They're here to help out. <laughs> and how many of you have been here before for one of these programs? So you know how awesome it's going to be. And today, let's see if I get this right. We are going to be making alcapurias. Very good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. So without further ado, I will let you take Thank charge. You. I will look forward to tasting. So it feels yes. like I haven't been here in a long time. So it feels like I'm having to get back on the bike and learn how to dry, ride it again. But I am very happy to have my mom here with you guys who... Any cooking abilities that I have, I have only a fraction of what she has. So I'm grateful for that. And my sister, who's also a better cook than I am, I had to bring her along because, just because, you know. <laughs> I can just watch and pretend I'm cooking today and they're gonna do a lot of the, good, the work. So today we're gonna be making, um, it's a, a fritter type uh, appetizer called alcapurrias. And it's made, there are, very, there are different variations of alcapurrias. My mom makes them generally from green bananas, you see here, and yautia, which is a taro root. Uh, some uh, countries, vegetable. like in, it's a root vegetables in Africa, they call it malanga. So there are some different ways that it's called. Anybody else have a different name for it that you know of? And so what we're going to do, we, we've made some of the, um, the we call la masa beforehand so that you could try it. I know Gina is going to love these because Gina's always looking for Puerto Rican delicacies around. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to show you how to make it. Um, it's a very easy but complicated um, fritter. You have to be able to form it and you're going to use meat. If you are vegetarian, you can use tofu, ground tofu in the center. Uh, you can or use you can seafood, um, or well, you can just make it plain if you're vegan and um, don't want to have any meat at all. Mm -hmm. So we'll get started. So the first thing that you have to do, mami, que es la primera cosa? I'm asking, what's the first thing we do? Mm -hmm. So we have to grate the bananas and the yautia. Yeah. So my sister and I will actually begin to do that. Y tú ven por acá, mami. So you can simple grater from the kitchen and you can use the back. Mm -hmm. And so it's going to, once you grate it, it's going to, can you do this and I'll do the beginning. You know? uh, once you grate it, it forms like in this, it's like a paste and it's sort of mushy and it looks like this. And I'll t my mom will tell us what we put inside. So que es lo que se pone allá adentro? So you use whatever seasonings you have. Now, the if you look for like the quote unquote ethnic seasonings, which I hate that name in mm -hmm. supermarkets because all food is ethnic mm -hmm. of some kind, right? Mm -hmm. But um, if you look under the ethnic section, you'll find like adobo or sazon, um, achote. achote, which we're not using today. Um, some people call anaro. Um, um, a seed that's the, used for the coloring that you see in the masa and also for the flavoring that it has too. So if you're going to use achote, you, you boil some oil, you uh, put some oil in a pot and you put achote in and then it draws the color out. And you're going to use some of that oil to season the oh, masa. Wow. So, but today we did not do that. We um, used the, co the coloring of the sazon yeah. when she seasoned it that already has achote in it. Mm -hmm. So let's get to this. So we're going to grate. Okay. This Oops. So much for that. And so as, as much as I'm comfortable in the kitchen, when my mom and my sister are around, usually I sit down. <laughs> so I'm kind of the helper when they're around. And so you want to grate it on the coarse side. So this, not here, you want to do the, the side that's the most coarse. So I used to, as we were kids, we were in charge of doing this part and you hated it because you're always afraid you're going to get cut. <laughs> so I just, I like to do it like in a circular motion because 
it makes it less hard to me. Hmm? She said, this is therapy, my mom said. It's like therapy for you. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to do some of this. And so once we do this and we put the seasoning in, uh, the meat is also a major part of this meat, this uh, fritter. So then I'll talk about the meat and I'll well, finish the, this. The meat, we need to make ground beef. And the base of everything that we make is sofrito. And sofrito is made with garlic, onion, bell pepper, cilantro. And everyone has their own variation of it, depending on how much of a vegetable you like or how much of an herb you like. She likes to make it extra garlic and extra onion. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's her sofrito. So she puts the sofrito in the beef. She'll add like a beef bouillon and she'll add maybe yeah. some tomato paste to it and some water and she'll have it cook itself down and this is basically the base of the meat of the and grain. so i will an at another time uh come and make sofrito with you because it's really a great um seasoning to have in your fridge yes. i freeze them yeah, yeah, and very healthy mm -hmm. um, and so i we i make a batch for this for the month and so whenever i'm cooking i just take i put them in uh ice cube trays and I freeze them, put them in a Ziploc bag, so when I cook, my seasoning is ready, and you don't have to spend time cutting peppers and onions and all of that stuff. <laughs> so it's, um, it's really a staple of Puerto Rican meals, so anyone who does any cooking in Puerto Rican household has sofrito. If they don't, not a real Puerto Rican. <laughs> so once we do this, the meat is cooked it's really just, you put the meat in, you can do it with shrimp, you can do it with, um, if you're vegan, like I said, you can use ground tofu, uh, turkey, anything. Chicken. It's chicken, ground chicken. It's, it's, um, it's really user friendly. Yeah. The, this is the traditional way that you would eat alcapurrias in a household Mostly family. Mostly beef, yeah. Mostly beef, yeah. So once we do this, and I'm not going to make all of them. We're going to make a little more. Oh, we were doing all of these because we're going to use it? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> so. We also add sofrito to the masa to give the sofrito flavor. She says that's a family secret. But that's so now you know the family it. secret <laughs> that you weren't, that you weren't <laughs> supposed to know. So she actually seasons it apart from the meat to give it flavor so it doesn't... And so easy dry. way to to uh, peel a green banana, which is similar to a plantain, platano, um, you would cut off the ends, then run a line down with the knife, and then just use the knife to sort of Separate loosen it. the skin, and then you can just use your fingers for the rest of the way. And for the most part, it'll come right off. It does take a little practice, but that's the easiest way to do it. So uh, we already have some of the masa ready and some meat. And so we're going to start practicing. The spoons are here. So you can see my sister do it, um, who does it better than I do. So to make the fritter, I usually use like a tablespoon. And you can put the heat up. Mami, si necesita subir el, el fuego, aquí, mira, ven. So I'm just asking her to um, check out the meat. So my mom was born in Puerto Rico. ¿A dónde tú naciste? Carolina. In Carolina, Puerto Rico. Um, we are, her children are New Yorkians. We were all born here. Um, so our Spanish is sometimes questionable. There's <laughs> some Spanglish going on. Um, so it's but she speaks mostly Spanish and she doesn't feel comfortable with English even though her English is fine. She just is not the most confident when, when, she, when it comes to speaking it. So, and she's also a bit shy. <laughs> unlike, unlike her daughter, how are you? <laughs> sure. Okay, so it's really not by pounds. It's kind of hard to say. So if you want to make like tw 12. The ratio I want to say is 75% of green banana. 
The majority of the masa is made from the green banana. Right. The the, green no, banana. not plantains. It's actual bananas. Oh, oh, the, green banana. the bananas that are not ripe. So there's a difference. So there's plantains, which are the cousin of bananas. Um, and then there are the green bananas, which are also um, green, but they're also ripe. And when they're ripe, they're sweet. Right? You guys like bananas, right? The uh, the yautia, yautia which not yuca yautia, the white yautia. We don't yet, but uh, you, the library will have it, and they're going to email it out. Hey, I know somebody in the back there. What's up? <laughs> yes, they're going to email the recipe out. So I'm I'm starting to make the al capudia, and what I do is I usually put some of the masa in my hand. And then I put a spoonful mm -hmm. of the meat, mm -hmm. of the filling, and mm -hmm. then I kind of, with my hand, start to form the masa. And I mean, this takes practice. This took me a little bit. And I also like to have some water nearby to kind of smooth it out with the water and kind of get it moldable Is so lean? that it's able to be shaped a little more easier. But this takes a little Swadish, bit of practice. Can you come for a sec? Yeah, we could just have a little water in here. Thank you. Not filled, just a little bit at the bottom. Yeah. Um, in my household growing up, the music was forever on. And so we woke up to salsa, we went to bed with salsa, we cooked with it. And my parents, who both cooked, always had music on to cook and clean. And so we sort of keep that tradition of cooking with our salsa music on. So you can use any of the like adobo, sazon. Sazon, if you're going to use, you want to use the one with achote in it. Okay. But if you would like to be it. adventurous, yeah. you can buy the actual achoto, achote seeds, mm -hmm. put some oil in a, how much oil, like a quarter cup? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like a quarter cup, yeah. depending on how much you're making, and put about a tablespoon of the I achote. Um, about a tablespoon of, of the achote. Let it cook until you see it get red, and then you're going to pour some of that into the masa. Thank you. And you put the goya sazon? Exactly. Okay. So now I'll tell you all, I don't really use sazon anymore. I'm glad she didn't hear that. Oh, she did hear it. Um, <laughs> because it does have MSG in it, so I tend to stick to um, adobo more now. So, you know, the... Um, the, the older generation, they do things very traditionally and we're a little more mindful. We don't have alcapurias that often unless I go to my mom's house or my sister. I beg her to make them. Um, but I don't really make them that often anymore. And one day she'll have to come and make fried chicken for you guys. That is awesome. So, yeah. So, mm -hmm. So the seasoning for the meat, we use um, sofrito, and you know sofrito, and whatever other seasoning you want. Some people like to add adobo, sazon, um, or just salt and pepper. You know, it depends on your taste buds. So you want to do that. So I just wanted you guys to see that that's how we do it. We're not going to use this to make any because we have some. Typically, once we do this and we season it, we put it in the fridge so that it could get a little thicker so that when you make it the next day it doesn't fall apart in the pan. And what I want to show you guys is some that are already made. My hands are washed <laughs> while they're making those. So these are some that my mom made earlier. <laughs> Somebody's excited. Uh -huh. So I'm going to cut them in half so everybody could get a, a taste. And so I want to show you what it looks like. This is how it looks. And then, see? And then inside, you see the meat. No tanto lo cocino bien. Mira. Mira, no tan cocino bien. All right, so some of them, she cooked most of the way in order to bring it here, but some have to get cooked additionally. 
Let's see here. See what you guys think about um, alcapurrias. Has anybody been to Puerto Rico here? Oh, a few of you. So tell me your experience. Kathleen. Um, I went the uh, first time about 13 years ago when I was teaching at a Catholic school in New York City. I've been cooking with the library for, I don't know, how long? A couple of years, right? And um, so somebody sent me this cute apron. And I'd like to know who it is, Takaho, so that I can thank them formally. This is such a cute, you know, I'm very proud of my little cooking with Mayor O'Myra apron. So um, can I have a helper? You want to start? So I want you to go around. And Goldo, come. You're going to give every a napkin, and then you're going to let them take it themselves. Okay, why don't you start over there? Go, go, Anthony, go. All right, so we have some helpers here. So for those who are just coming in, um, this is my mom, who um, everything I've learned about cooking, I've learned from her and my father a little bit, and uh, my sister, Anna. Do you like them? They're good. So this is um, our mom's recipe. <laughs> so clearly, this is not a diet-friendly food. <laughs> but it is a good treat to have. If you're having a party, you can have like um, little cocktail-sized ones. So what do you guys think? <laughs> Did you try it? Good, good. How many people have not gotten yet? Oh, we have a good amount. Daryl, so I just want to say thank you to Trustee Cronin and Taylor who are here. <laughs> Um, you guys have a very, very hard-working board tr of trustees in Tuckahoe, so I appreciate them a lot because I know sometimes the mayor gets a lot of play, but it's really not the mayor who does all of this work. It's a lot of people. So thank you guys. <laughs> very good job. Thank you. And as you can see, grandma is the place to be. <laughs> Mami, tú estás supuesto estar haciendo esto, ¿qué tú haces? <laughs> I brought her to cook, I said. These are working. This is working. So anybody know how to dance salsa? Do you? You smiled, so I thought you were going to invite me. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Elijah, you dance salsa? <laughs> yeah? You want to do a little demonstration? Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course, Gina. Of course. Let's do it. So maybe we'll do some salsa lessons one day. Hmm? Todavía.
Ahora me No te lo jodiste, tú te quedas, que está al aire. So it's working now, Elaine. <laughs> Yes, it's very true, very true. So my family grew up in Brooklyn. So there were six, there were six siblings. Were you from Brooklyn? Oh, we're part. Okay, Bay Ridge. We're, we were from Flatbush. From Flatbush too? Where? Between, okay, we were Ocean and Albemarle, Caton, that area, yeah. So there was, uh, Prospect, Park. Prospect Park, right near Prospect Park. So there were six of us. My, our oldest sister passed away. And so there are five of us and one adopted um, brother that we have. Um, and my mom, I don't know how she did it because I barely could do it with one that I had. So God bless her for that. Mm -mm. Turn them. Mami, tú lo puedes ponerla allá. Como si quieres, usa la cuchara. Ok. So, turning them can be a little tricky sometimes. So, we usually we'll use two spoons, but we have a spatula and just use the other side to just help it, to direct it to turn over. These not yet, right? No, because that little hot first. Okay. Mm. Mary, you know, someone had asked about if it was a vegetarian uh, dish, and I said that there was meat in this. Right? So we'll make some. We'll make some, we'll make some without meat. Oh, if there's okay. anybody who. It can be made without. Yes, meat. you can yes. make it without meat. I love it. By we call it um, alcafuria ciega. Which is blind, but it really means it has nothing in it. So there we have, uh, we have a salsa dancer in the house. We have a salsa dancer in the house. So we will make some, any vegetarians? So we'll make, we'll make some, we'll make some without meat. So you can have that. Nice. Los saco. No, déjalo otro ratito. Poquito más, ok. Él no 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 está bien, él comió su pizza. Sí. So I did intend to make some flan for you for dessert, <laughs> but I didn't have time, so I will, we'll do that next time. I promise not to stay away too long, um, but we have been busy in the village. If you guys have been watching the meetings or hearing, uh, we just passed our first really historic historic uh, preservation legislation, um, the first in East Chester, so we're really proud of that. Um, so we are now, we have a commission that looks at the sites in Tuckahoe and re makes recommendations to the village to, to, to uh, designate them as landmarks. So we just voted in the Ward House as the first historic landmark in Tuckahoe. I encourage you to look up the Ward House very instrumental in the Revolutionary War. I think these are good, Nana. Yeah. Okay. Let's try one out before you. Okay. Beautiful. You want to do it? Really quick, Nana. Perfect. Oh, a little bit? A little bit. It's but it's okay, right? Okay. I think these are good to turn. This one is not as good as the other one. Uh, I think I'm going to let you do this. This way I can blame her. When it doesn't go well, let me take these out. We're gonna make some without meats in a, now. These three 
get our cooking here without Okay. Okay. I'm going to do it this time, okay? Aww. Have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for doing that for Tucker Hope with a historian. You're very welcome. <laughs> I mean, I love that. So who has not had? <laughs> Alright, you guys, try it. Right. Don't be looking at it like it's... <laughs> nah, I appreciate it. <laughs> try it. And I know you've had some. I did? <laughs> I mean, not here. I mean, in the past. I feel like I had this before. You've it's had like this. It's like an empanada. It's like an empanada. Yeah. Yeah. Not without without dough. Right. No good. peanuts. No nuts. No peanuts. Oh, are you right? That's hot. Oh, Crystal, you right? You, you try it? No. no? Are you sure? No, no, no. Can I get one? Nah, Louis, take one, bro. I get I get take that to go home. Good. Isn't that good? Those aren't the vegetarian. Yeah, the vegetarian ones are coming up. Oh, okay. Louis, try. It's good. Thank you. Is it enough to have an extra second? Take two. Take those two right there. I have no more, so take take one of these napkins. Here. You good? Here, Johnny. Take one of these napkins. Excuse me, sir, would you like one? I'd like half of one. Okay. Hmm? All right, we're going to give you um, Christmas and summer napkins. I had some extra ones left over. <laughs> hmm? No? Okay, good. Let's listen to some good music here. Let's listen to some good music here. No. These are done, you think? Let's, I'm gonna cut one off. I mean, if it's not, we just take it right back. Cut that one. Un poquito más. We are, we are so used to just getting all burned up. We don't care about scars anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, I counted a, you know, the sign of a true chef. Sorry, just let it stick. Mm -hmm. Let it drain out a little bit. I want to the on the long way. Bájalo. I don't think so. You think so? Yes, then. Le faltaba mucho o le faltaba poquito? Un poquito. Not that one. That one you can give to the boys. See, put those on this side. We've had a lot of mishaps over the years. Sorry. There you go. Okay, so the um, the vegetarians will get a whole one because you don't get any meat. <laughs> So vegetarians here. Yeah. Oh, thank you. This, these three on this, on the right, are all it's vegan too. Oh, yeah. And this is all vegan and vegetarian. So. Ooh. And gluten free. And gluten free. You are good? Because I'm also, I also want to wear flowers. Oh so. yes. <laughs> this is gonna be my dance partner it's before vegan. the night is out. Thank you very much. It's vegan. Yeah. This is vegan. Would you like, would you like a vegan one? Well, I'm not vegan. Do you want a regular one? Okay. Sure. <laughs> you go. Who'd like another one? There is one vegan for our director. Of, and anyone, I'll take the anyone. This is a regular one. <laughs> Here you go, Swadish. No, 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 this is the vegan one for you. You're welcome. Mommy. Okay, so we have a few extras. If anybody would like, we can continue to eat. And I think we're good, right? That's it? 
That's it. We got everybody, right? <laughs> Wait, let's cut them in half so people can have four yeah. people can have. That's beautiful. Nice and crunchy. Beautiful. Okay. If you if you like another piece, raise your hand so so they know where to go. So yeah. that oh, they're gonna knock the camera down. Yeah. Okay. Apagalo. Unplug it. Unplug it. Okay. Mami, ven para acá. Y Nana, ven para acá. Ah, uh -huh, ya. <laughs> She's shy. <laughs> So that is pretty much it. That's how we make alcapurias in Puerto Rico, in my mom's house. <laughs> so um, we will give the recipe to the library and the video that's been um, recorded by our very own Gary. Thank you, Gary. Will be up on our the website and uh, you'll see it circulating on the page. So thank you guys for being here again. I appreciate you coming out and getting to know my family a little bit and my nephews, Alonso and Anthony. You can stand up and take a bow. <laughs> and I want to thank the library for, I mean, the program. Don't we have the best library, really? For just all the programming that they provide and they're always looking for ways to support the community. Can turn that off. Mm -hmm. So Swadish and Elaine and the entire uh, library staff, thank you very much for your commitment. Ooh, nice. <laughs> That's for you. No, it's for you. <laughs> thank you, guys. How I think I know this I young man. I don't understand. How are you? It's nice to see you again. So this young man came to visit me. Tell everybody your name. Tell him your name. His name is Brian. And he came to visit me in Village Hall with his mom because he wanted to meet the first woman mayor. His mom was teaching him about Women's History Month and he said, I want to go and visit the first woman mayor in Tuckahoe. And he came really nicely dressed. He had on his suit. And when I asked how did he decide what he wanted to wear, his mom said, I asked him what he wanted to wear. And he said, formal. <laughs> so he's coming to see the mayor. So thank you for visiting me again, Brian. It's good to see you. This is Anthony and Alonso. Those are my nephews. Hi. Can you share with them? <laughs> <laughs> so you guys can go and play. We've got a few more kids that want to say hi. Come on. You want to go up and say hello tonight? I'll do a cooking class for kids so you can make quesadillas and cupcakes. How about that? You've never cooked in your life? I made toast. <laughs> I'm going to teach you to cook. What's your name? Tell everybody 
your name? Oh, I was like, the Come here. What's your name? <laughs> what's your name? My name is Colin. Colin? Yeah. This is Colin, and what's your name? My name's Brody. Brody? Brody. 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 And what's your name? Hudson. 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 Let's give them a hand. So will you guys come and help me do a cooking class? <laughs> when your calendar is free. <laughs> That'd be fun. All right, yeah. so we have a date. Awesome. Yeah. Hey. We have a date. Not with me. Not you? He's too busy. He's too busy for me. <laughs> Will you help me out? He's busy. No? Okay. okay, so I think I have a, I have a couple of volunteers, so I'll be looking out for you guys. Oh, he's going to Texas, so he can't, you know, oh, okay. possibly cook. Uh, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys. <laughs> Bye-bye. All right, thank you, everybody, very much. Bye, please. <laughs> Mind everyone, if anyone knows who sent me this beautiful apron, please tell them to identify themselves <laughs> so I can yep. thank them yep. formally. <laughs> Bye, everybody.